We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. We will shut you down, we will cite you, and if we need to, we will arrest you and we will take you to jail. Period. I wasn't thinking of the Bill of Rights when we did this. But no amendment, no amendment to the Constitution is absolute. God actually spoke to me. He spoke about sacredness. He said to me, Kim, what I claim in many, many people is sacred. And if anybody touches what is sacred to me, then it is the end for them. So what I've done in the United States of America is sacred. And there are people on every side that are trying to destroy what I deem sacred. And it's not going to happen. This is the definition of criminal conspiracy, racketeering, and collusion. This is not a theory. This is evidence. Because I have upheld this country to spread a light to the rest of the world. When you choose to go against the sacred thing that God puts into the very heart and the soil of this nation, this was sacred to God. Now is the time to attack. This is exactly why I need some action from my people. There is a man by the name of Mr. Clark, and there is also another man by the name of Donald. You are both watching me saying, could it be that God's speaking to me? Yes, he is. <laughs> Somebody, just a few minutes before you came on the show, you went out and you took the American flag and you said, I'm proud of my nation. You raised it up and God said, you have been determined through your prayers to influence this nation you're watching me you're an influential person the spirit of god says hear the word of the prophet to you as a king i will open that door that you prayed about and when it comes time for the election you will be elected okay uh, a couple quick updates uh one for anybody looking for a christmas gift uh, general flynn likes kit kats so if you're wanting to get General Flynn a Christmas gift uh, tonight, go to your local convenience store. Anybody in the room married to General Flynn? Can you attest to that? Does he love Kit Kats? Yeah, okay. So if you want to help General Flynn put on about 80 pounds before Christmas, go ahead and get him a Kit Kat tonight. Uh, you'll get an autograph, bring a Kit Kat to General Flynn. Also, if you want to know the key to President Trump's heart, it's Diet Coke. These are the things I know. That's why, how I've gotten to where I am. I know these things. Diet Coke and Kit Kats. That's the key. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our, we have uh, three final presenters tonight. We have three final presenters, three final presenters. And our next presenter is a guy that uh, I cold called uh, because I kept, I kept hearing that he kept being arrested in Canada. And he kept being arrested. I thought, this is my guy. He keeps being arrested for refusing to shut down his church Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for a lion pastor, a lion of a pastor, you're going to find it in Pastor Archer Pulowski. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet the now free, the Canadian pastor, Archer Pulowski. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yesterday, General Flynn called us a family. And that's exactly what I see. I see a family. Family has no boundaries. Family is the spirit. And that's what the enemy fears the most. When we come together, when we worship our God, for the past three years, they have done everything in their power to segregate, separate, to isolate, like predators that they are fighting to pound on the most vulnerable. And we decided to do the opposite. Every single time the enemy comes and tells us to do something, we do opposite. When they tell you to be quiet, you yell from the rooftop. When they tell you not to associate, not to come, invite your friends. That's what I did. When the Canadian government declared that they're canceling Christmas, I invited my family and my friends, and I took a picture, and I sent it to them. Come and get me. 
When they canceled Christmas celebration, I did the biggest Christmas celebration in the country. Thousands of people showed up and we broke our record. 100 police officers, 52 police cars, anti-terrorists, 20 cops on bicycles, and the chief of police. And we did the unthinkable. We did something that we were told that is going to destroy our beautiful country. We had carolers. And they came bearing gifts. I end up with 15 COVID tickets. It was Christmas after all. We've won every fight. Last time we saw each other, it was in Colorado Springs. I don't know if you remember that. I was offered to stay in the United States. I was told, stay here. And God spoke to me, but I need you in Canada. Canadian children are also worth fighting for. I was told that I will be arrested, and I had to accept my fate. You see, Christians, we like the perks, we like the things that God is offering, the blessings, but you see, it was Him that said, pick up your cross daily and follow me. It cost the father his son, it cost the son his own life. You really think it's not going to cost you anything? 340 tickets. Actually, the new number is 347. Over 120 court cases, 16 arrests, criminally charged with inciting mischief and eco-terrorism for a church sermon to the truckers and farmers. Arrested, imprisonment, imprisoned, and placed in solitary confinement. Concrete cells without water and washroom. Metal cages, denied access to lawyers, kidnapped, by sheriffs and placed in the max pod. For the new criminals out there, I'll tell you this is for the worst terrorists ever. I was locked in a max pod by myself in a room bigger than this room in a, in a unit in freezing conditions. Transferred to a psych ward without the evaluation of the doctors, without the knowledge of Alberta Health Services. The night bailed and eventually I was released because of you. Yeah. Tens of thousands of emails, thousands of phone calls and letters to the government, shows and people speaking and standing in solidarity with a little man in a city that most do not even know that exists, Calgary. So I today Thank you from the bottom of my heart for standing with us, for fighting for my life. During my trial, thank you. During my prison time, five different inmates testified already that the guards were giving them incentives to murder me in prison. They put my house on fire. They tried to burn us alive in the middle of the night. They unscrewed tires in our pickup truck. They attacked me viciously, physically, multiple times. They put our church on fire. They vandalized our church for months, but we stood strong. Because of you, I was released and placed on house arrest. Believe it or not, I couldn't come to see my family here because I was on house arrest. I have become the first clergy in the history of Canada to be found guilty on terrorism and inciting. It has never been done before. They've done a lot of bad things to us. They've tried everything in their power to shut me up, and here I am again. Thank you. Why do I tell you this? Because I want you to understand something that our God is bigger than their gods. That our God is bigger than all of them combined together. I want you to understand that if God is for you, who can be against you? I want you to know that the greater is He that is in us than the one that is in them. That's the story of Pastor Arthur Pulaski. The story, the story of God that cannot be defeated. 
2 Corinthians 3.17 Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is freedom. Do you want your liberty? Do you want your freedom? If you want freedom, back in America, invite God of freedom back to America. That's your answer. That's your answer. If every believer realized, if every believer would realize that going to the fire is your answer to your prayers. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were given twice an offer to bow. If you would only bow, you will not be thrown into the fire. But listen, in the fire was their promotion. In the fire, God dealt with their enemies. In the fire, Jesus showed up personally to set them free. How many of you would like to see Jesus face to face? You must go to the fire. He shows up in the fire. Instead of running away from difficulties, instead of running away from the trials and tribulations, we should gladly run towards the fire. In the fire, they had a testimony like no other man ever lived. It was in the fire that the whole world saw that they are serving a living God, not a statue, not an idol. In the fire, God showed up as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And when Nebuchadnezzar saw that, it was in the fire that they had their promotion. How many of you would like to be promoted? And be careful. Be careful. What you're asking for, if you're looking for promotion, if you're looking for having a face-to-face -face encounter with the living God, you must go all the way. You see, we as Christians, sometimes we are half-baked. We must go to the fire all the way, everything or nothing, left or right, choosy this day whom you are going to serve. The story of Arthur Pulaski is a very simple one. I just refuse to bow. That's all. That's all. When they showed up in a church, I told them only one thing that I knew. Get out, Satan. Get out of our homes. Get out of our businesses. Get out of our White House. Get out of our parliament. Devil, get out. How many of you would like to be Daniels? How many of you would like to be Esthers? Mordecai's. Mordecai had to see a gallow being built just for him. And that's not an easy thing. For the past 18 years, they hunted us down left and right. I've never met a man with more tickets than I received during that time. I think I broke some kind of a record. When they came arresting me, it was not just a regular arrest. I was arrested by SWAT team, RCMP. RCMP is like your FBI. They would close the entire street, undercover police, RCMP, detectives, uniformed Calgary police. I was interrogated for hours, stripped naked, thrown in prison, solitary confinement. Why? Why? What is the story in this story? Well, the story is very simple. Our God is bigger than their God. Fear not. 335 times for every day in a year, God is repeating this to you and me over and over again like a broken record. Fear not. Do not be afraid. Because if God is for you, who is against you? And I want to finish with this before my friends will drag me from the pulpit. One of the worst fears that a pastor like me has is that someone will walk in and say, get out, <laughs> using my own words against me. I will finish with this. David, for him, in order to receive the promises of God, for him to enter his destiny, he had to first be faithful with little. He tackles the lion. He tackles the bear. 
And only then he was able to face the giant. And yes, the giants are big, but our God is bigger. I had a saying for many years when I was still in a ring. I had a saying, the bigger the opponent, the greater the sound is going to be when I knock him to the ground. David did not see a giant. David saw an opportunity. On the other side of a mountain of a man was David's destiny. In order for him to enter and become the greatest king ever lived outside of Jesus, he had to take down what stood against him. When he took down the giant, he uses the enemy's own devices. He takes the sword of Goliath and he chops his head off. My message today to all the villains out there is a very simple one. Who do you think you are, you uncircumcised Philistines, that you should defy the armies of the living God? Who do you think you are, you Philistines of old? My God is bigger. My God is greater. My enemies, your enemies, are also in the palm of God's hand. They only woke up in the morning because he still thinks they are useful to him. Fear not. Do not be afraid of your enemies. Your enemies are working for you. They elevate you. They work for your promotion. So when you see an enemy digging a pit for you, give them a shovel. When you see the harmons of today building a gallow, hand them a hammer. The sooner they finish their job, the sooner you will see the deliverance and the victory of God. And that's the message of Arthur Pulaski. Very simple one. God is bigger than our enemies. He is bigger than all the giants combined together. With God, we cannot lose. And remember this, we are lions. Lions do not bow before the hyenas. Lions eat the hyenas for breakfast. Be blessed. One more time, that's Pastor Arthur Pulowski. On December 15th and 16th, the Reawaken America Tour heads 30 miles south of Fresno, California, which is only a brief 23-hour and 15-minute drive away from Tulsa, Oklahoma, to beautiful Tulare, California, to the majestic International Agri Center. Because you know what they say, Christmas in Tulare is hilarious yes 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 and yes on december 15th and 16th general flynn eric trump cash patel devin nunez dr stella emmanuel dr simone gold laura trump mike lindale pastor leon benjamin jim brewer and team america take the reawaken america tour into beautiful tulare california and with 70 plus speakers over a two day event, this incredible December 15th and 16th Reawaken America tour is going to blow your mind. And did I mention that Mel Kay, Julie Green, and Amanda Grace will be up in the place? Psst. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. But we'll keep this a little secret between you and me and them and everybody. Whoa. The people that are actually at the tip of the spear, working directly with President Trump on a day-to-day -day basis to save this nation, they're all joining us on the Reawaken America Tour. We have Pre President Donald J. Trump's Chief of Staff, Cash Patel. We've got Peter Navarro's joined us on the tour. We have General Michael Flynn. We have Eric Trump. The people actually working at the tip of the spear with President Donald J. Trump to save America are joining us on the Reawaken America Tour. Whoa. If word of this gets out, if the truth about election fraud, medical fraud, religious fraud, monetary fraud, and mainstream media gets out, it may just save the nation. And that is why we're taking the Reawaken America tour into Tulare, California on December 15th and 16th. What? Yes!
Tulare, California is a real place. And we're going to be there on December 15th and 16th. Come and see Dr. Judy Mikovits, Julie Green, Amanda Grace, Dr. Simone Gold, the power lifter and wife of Eric Trump, Laura Trump, Gene Ho, Roger Stone, the woman who woke up the world with the Plandemic series, Dr. Judy Mikovits, the hilarious Jim Brewer, Dr. Peter McCullough, Mike Won't Let America Go to Hell and Dell, Pastor Leon Benjamin, Pastor Mark Burns, Pastor Greg Locke, Pastor Dave Scarlett, Pastor Brian Gibson, Pastor Phil Hodson-Piller, Pastor Craig Hagen. Because, although even America may be facing an imminent disaster, on the Reawaken America Tour, we travel with pastors. Did I mention on the Reawaken America Tour, we've had Liz Crokin, Jimmy Levy, we've had Mickey Willis, we've even had Robert F. Kennedy Jr. show up at the Reawaken America Tour. We've had Charlie Kirk, Roseanne, Donna Clement Petruska, Mel Kay, Owen Troyer, Alex Jones, Mike Adams, Seth Holhouse, Donald J. Trump Jr. If you want to join us in beautiful Tulare, California, get those tickets today at time2freeamerica.com. We have scholarship pricing available to make this event affordable for everybody. What does that mean? That means you can name your price. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can name your price. We want every single American and married Americans going to be able to afford a ticket to the Reawaken America Tour. The Reawaken America Tour. Get those tickets today at time2freeamerica.com. Klaus Schwab, Yuval Noah Harari, Henry Kissinger, and the World Economic Forum, they have their get-togethers at Davos. But we have the Reawaken America Tour so you can learn the truth about election fraud, medical fraud, religious fraud, and to get back to God. Ladies and gentlemen, 70-plus speakers are featured during this two-day epic event. To make this event affordable for everybody, you can name your price. So I'd like to name my price Skylar. Or Hamilton, uh, or this is probably Pitt. Not the right conference for you. Each and every Reawaken America Tour event has been 100% sold out, and these events will be sold out as well. Request those tickets today at time2freeamerica.com. Or for faster service, you can text them the number 918-851-0102. Again, to be bilingually sensitive, you can text in the number 918-851-0102. Zero two. That's nine one eight eight five one zero one zero two. So many people always ask, you know, what can I do to, to help fight back to save this nation? Uh, Jordan, you meet people at the Reawaken America Tour. Are, yep. are, are are people looking for ways to get involved? Oh yeah, all the time. All and so time. one one thing I would encourage everybody to do, if, if you're out there today and you're saying, I want to get involved, I, I want to support the Reawaken America Tour. What can I do? One thing you can do is if you will go to mypillow.com and buy anything at all. I mean, I, you can buy whatever you want to buy. Uh, you don't have to buy my recommendations. Uh, and frankly, you know, uh, I, I don't buy a lot of domestic products. I mean, my, my wife, you know, buys sheets and, and towels and all these sorts of things. I, I, I don't do that. I think the last time I bought a towel was the last time I did a, a MyPillow commercial. But I would say, if you want to support the Reawaken America Tour, you just go up here to MyPillow.com and use promo code CLAY. So that's promo code CLAY, C-L-A-Y, and buy anything using promo code CLAY. And that does two things. One, it supports Mike Lindell and the great work he's doing to expose election fraud. And two, it helps the Reawaken America Tour. Because right now, if you go to timetofreeamerica.com, you can see I'm still involved in this ongoing litigation where the, the former head of security and strategy for Dominion, uh, Eric Coomer, he actually uh, is coming after me uh, personally and the tour for defamation. The, the idea is that he believes that the Reawaken America tour has hurt his reputation. Now, this is the same Eric Coomer who ran a, 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 a moving vehicle into a parked building during the middle of the day uh, while intoxicated. Wow. <laughs> um, went to bed and breakfasts, climbed street in or something like that, and took off on foot. I'm going to have eight go over there and secure the vehicle. Holy crap. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Are you Eric? Yeah. So, were you driving your truck? Uh, no, I've been here putting the order away. Okay. Who was driving your truck? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so where is your truck? Uh, it's two blocks down on the right. Okay, and you just parked it there? Yeah. Okay. Have you had anything to drink since you got here? Yeah. Um, had a couple shots with the cook. Okay. Do you mind if we step out back and talk for a yeah. second? Yeah. Huh. So, walk me, walk me through your route to get 
from where you parked there? Uh, came from my house, came down. Um, I live up on the Mesa. Okay. So I came down side route, came down uh, Sackett, parked over there. Okay. So what happened in between there? Okay. I'm going to come around to the front. Um, nothing. Nothing at all. So you didn't hit a building? No. Unfortunately, I have your truck with damage on it. Okay. Matching damage to a building down there. Okay. And witnesses saying a guy in blue plaid got out of the truck and came back here. Okay. So you're saying that wasn't you? No. Okay. You understand why that's hard to believe? That... Understood. Okay. But you were the only person driving your vehicle. As far as I know. Okay. And you parked it two blocks up on I the did. street there. Okay. Right. So at this uh, point, four by four pickup truck. Like, we're at Fork Hill Road. This officer can take you to jail. Boy, okay. John, you're charged Charles, with felony misinformation along with all the traffic stuff. Leaving, okay. Or you can cut the, the line, nonsense. He cuts you ticket for the crash, RP and we move on. Line, it seems goofy to me to jam yourself up with more charges when you obviously responsible for this thing is property damage, but it doesn't make any sense. to Understood. So. Like you said, we're at a fork in the road. The choice is yours. Okay. Okay. You, can, you can talk to my attorney. Okay. Go ahead and turn around. Yep. Back for me. Yep. He was being filmed on body cam. And he lied to police about what happened. If you're saying, well, what can I do to support right now? One thing you could do, and I mean this, folks, if you go to timetofreeamerica.com and you can click on the button here that says donate to support Clay Clark, uh, Clay Clark's fight against Eric Coomer's um, lawsuit, that would be great uh, because of the, 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 the legal fees, the ongoing legal fees for this lawsuit are almost $3,000 a day. Um, so if you could donate anything, I mean, we just had somebody donate uh, 11 hours ago, $20, someone donated $100, any amount at all would be absolutely uh, helpful. All that money goes to just fight against that lawsuit with Eric Coomer, who's coming after myself, uh, Lindell, Mike Lindell, and other, other patriots. And then this, the second thing you could do is if you go to uh, MyPillow.com and you want to buy anything at all, um, you know, Jordan, it's, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's never too early to buy your Christmas presents, right? No, it's never too early. What's the earliest you bought your Christmas presents? Like, how was the earliest in advance that you purchased your Christmas presents? January. The, of the year. So January after December, mm -hmm. you bought it almost a full year in advance? Yep. Yeah, so I encourage everybody, just go to MyPillow.com, use promo code CLAY, and buy anything. And that is an absolutely great way to support the tour. I'm very appreciative for everybody who's showing up at the Reawaken America tour, but again, for anybody who says, Clay, how can I help the tour? How can I help you guys? Again, go to MyPillow.com, use promo code Clay, and buy anything at all that helps support Mike Lindell and the tour. Also, if you could donate anything at all to support uh, in our ongoing litigation versus uh, Eric Coomer, the former head of security and strategy for Dominion, who believes that the Reawaken America tour is defaming him. Uh, apparently, a lot of people don't want you to know about election fraud. Whoa.